Hey guys, it's Montana, and we've been getting requests from TPT owners asking for us to do some videos on maintenance. So we decided to oblige by starting with an easier area of maintenance to perform on your trailer. In fact, it's an area of maintenance that is often as easy to forget to do as it is to actually do it. And that's greasing your axles and grease points, or zerks to be exact. And we have a trailer expert that's going to explain this area of maintenance. Check it out. All right, guys, we're here with Texas Pride Service and Warranty Manager Jordan. What's up, Jordan? Just another day at Texas Pride. Yes, it is, and we appreciate you taking out the time of your day to come help us out. Now, when it comes to greasing your axles and zerks, we always tell our customers at delivery, don't forget to grease. So, can you briefly explain why it's important to grease, how often you should, and what can happen if this area of maintenance is neglected? Greasing your wheel ends is important because it prevents premature wear and keeps your wheel ends running smoothly. We recommend that you inspect your wheel ends pretty regularly, add grease when needed, and at least once a year or every 12,000 miles, whichever comes first, actually completely change the grease in your wheel end altogether. So it's pretty important, right? Absolutely. And it's pretty simple to perform, correct? So easy a kid can do it. So tell them what tools they'll need. You'll need a hammer, a flathead screwdriver, and a good grease gun. And we have those tools, right? Yes, we do. All right, then let's get to greasing. Let's do it. The first thing we're gonna show you is the Easy Lube, which is the first thing we tell our customers when we see their trailer. The first thing you wanna do is remove the rubber plug with a flathead screwdriver. Inspect the inside of the cap. Use your index finger to remove any burnt grease from around the cap. Once that's clear, place your nozzle from your grease gun onto your grease zerk. Inject grease into the bearing set so that once you start to see the grease start to roll over the outer bearing, stop. Remove the hose for the grease gun, replace the rubber cap, and you're good to go. To remove your cap, use a flathead screwdriver. Place it between the seal on the cap and the hub face. Gently tapping on the hammer to start moving the cap away from the hub face. Work it all the way around in a counterclockwise motion so that you start to gently pry the cap off. Do not puncture the cap. Don't break that seal or it'll never seat back properly. Once the cap is loose enough, gently remove the cap with your hand and using your index finger, remove any burnt or built up grease on the inside of the hub and just outside the outer bearing. Once you can see the outer bearing, you wanna place the hose for your grease gun onto the grease zerk and inject fresh grease into the hub. Once that grease starts to roll over the outer bearing, stop, that's enough grease. Once that's done, remove the grease gun from the grease zerk fitting, take just a little bit of fresh grease on your index finger, place some on the outer rim of the cap and on the inside of the cap, seat the cap gently back onto the hub face and tap it back into place until it's secure. Once you're secure, you're done. And that's how you grease your axles. Now there's other grease points located around your trailer. Can you tell us where those are? Absolutely. It does depend on the trailer, but door hinges, dump hinges, and several other places on your trailers. However, if you do have questions on where those hinge points are, contact the warranty department and we'll walk you through where all those are. Awesome. Thank you, Jordan, for taking time out of your day to perform this area of maintenance. You're very welcome. Don't forget to grease your trailers. Texas Pride, get you another one.